All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to change a brake master cylinder. That's this, and the brake switch underneath. Um, it's actually fairly simple, and it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes, I wouldn't think. The brake master cylinder is the brake reservoir. That is this. You literally just have to undo this brake line. And uh, there's two bolts on the front. I'm not sure if you can see them from that angle. Let me see. Actually, yeah, you can kind of see them from that angle. Move this thing around. It's actually these two bolts right here. Just loosen those. This thing comes right off, and then you put a new brake master reservoir on there. Or a brake master cylinder. This on the 110 cc kids quad that I bought for a hundred bucks, and I'm gonna pretty much fix it, make it nice, and give it to my kid, my three year old, like any responsible dad would do. By the way, if there's any brake fluid in this, it's going to leak everywhere. Backing it out kind of slow. Man to put new brake lines also. But nothing leaked out, so... So super easy, already off. Brake lines have a little bit of rust in them, but they don't look bad, but the outsides don't look bad. Maybe if I flush them, they'll be fine. I'm gonna try not to replace them, unless I have to. But like I said, for a hundred bucks, I'm not gonna complain if I have to spend some money. This new Brake Master Reservoir comes with a new lever, brake lever, all that good stuff. Um, and it already comes with one of the switches on it, so I don't think I need to replace it. It says a left and right switch, but it has a left switch already on it. got a little noisy because that compressor but pretty much all you have to do is put the brake line back on and then screw those two nuts back in and that's all you have to do to install the brake lever oh yeah and then put these back into place It's all in the place, and I just have to fill it. And uh, I don't know if you have to bleed the drain, bleed the brakes on these. I'm just assuming you would, but uh, I'll worry about that later. Maybe make a new video out of it. Actually, there's a nipple on this back brake caliper, so I'm guessing you're gonna have to bleed the brakes. Anyways, uh, as always, uh, I do step-by-step -step videos on how to do just about anything with engines. Uh, I sh probably should have started this channel a lot. A long time ago but uh i'm gonna post a bunch more videos about four wheelers uh motorcycles um anything with a small engine anything 
like even an air compressor, how to fix those, uh, how to fix lawnmowers, and obviously everything that has to, has to do with cars and and DIY projects. Anyways, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button. I got the hiccups. Anyways, I'm out.